Hi everybody, uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video, I've just been busy and dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare, so please keep me in your prayers. Um, but I, and, and plus I haven't really been prompted by the Holy Spirit to do a video, so, and that's usually only when I do them, is when I feel Him giving me that nudge to do so. So I did get the nudge. Um, because I asked him, you know, what what do you want me to, to do? What, what would you like for me to share? And this is what I got. So, um, I uh, had been uh, made aware of uh, a racehorse that um, won the Triple Crown on Saturday the 10th sorry Saturday the 9th and um, uh, the horse's name is Justify and the jockey when he was interviewed after they won the Kentucky Derby uh, he was um, quoted as giving thanks to, to the Lord and I saw another interview where he, he prays before every race so um, it's apparent that the jockey Michael Smith is a Christian so um, and it's interesting I mean first of all the horse's name Justify and he's kind of uh, different from the normal racehorse. Normally racehorses begin racing at two years old and he did not begin racing at two years old. So um, he's different there. So he has won the Triple Crown which means he's won uh, the three coveted uh, horse races in a row. So um, and also interesting that the jockey's name is uh, Michael Earl Smith. Michael in Hebrew means who is like God. Uh, Earl is the meaning of the name Earl means chief, which would be a leader. Um, and Smith means smitten, <laughs> uh, because it the the name Smith originates from uh, like a blacksmith or silversmith where they beat things. So the name actually means smitten. And the reason, um, so everything in this video, I'm sorry, let me go back and give everyone a, a, a quick overview. Um, I think what I'm going to show you in the video is what Abba is, he's plainly telling those with eyes to see that get ready. It is close. Things are about to happen and very very soon so he is saying I'm showing you the signs of things to let you know that I'm at the door and I know we've been saying this for a while but of course each day we get closer and closer so you know my attention was brought to this horse um, back when he won the Kentucky Derby which was several weeks ago uh, because of his name, um, the definition of justify is to show or prove to be right or reasonable, to be a good reason for, and then in, in the theological sense is declare or make righteous in the sight of Yah. So, what the Holy Spirit is telling me what the interpretation that I'm getting from the message that he had me put together is that um, of course we know as believers we have been made righteous by the shedding of the blood of our Savior Yeshua and on the flip side of that he is putting out the message the warning that judgment is about to fall on this world and that he will be justified in
in, in a minute here, I'm going to show you a bunch of verses. I basically went through pretty much, well, I did go through every book um, of the Bible, and most of them, 99% of them, um, he wanted me to look at chapter 6 and verse 11. Now, some of the verses that were relevant to the message in this video were um, in reverse, like chapter 1, verse 16. Basically, the reason I started to look up the chapter 6, verse 11 in most of the books was because I kept seeing the number 611. And he shows me numbers all the time and um, I kept seeing it and I've been seeing it for a while and I just thought that it was that I was being shown 911 backwards and so I would see it I'm like yeah I know because I have also been shown 911 a lot and and I'm like yeah I know that the next 911 thing is about to happen and I'm like thank you Holy Spirit I'm aware that that and and he something in me he he was saying no I want you to look up 611 I'm like okay so of course you know when I see a number like that I immediately um, usually I go to Strong's first and then I start looking at verses so also um, I haven't been saying it as much lately but last year I was also being shown the number 111 repeatedly So now that I, um, and you'll see when I show you the verses uh, how everything I'm telling you is going to tie together. But let me go back to the horse um, winning the triple crown, the justify, the horse name justify. So uh, the triple crown, for those of you who, who don't know, is an award or honor for winning a group of three important events in a sport in particular a uh, victory by one horse in the Kentucky Derby uh, the Preakness and the Belmont Stakes and it is also a name for the Papal Tiara so um, and a triple crown can also be something that in other sports as well not just horse racing it's when you win three prestigious awards in a row so um, the, the triple crown in itself is significant um, so of course there's the, the horse racing thing and then we have the papal tiara so 
it is a crown with gold and all these jewels and it is three tiered now the only reason I'm showing the papal tiara is because um, there's um, some authority let's just say taken by the popes and well mainly the popes but of course it goes down the line the cardinals and the bishops that is not theirs to take especially the Pope he is not the physical representation of Christ on earth he is not the spokesman for Christ on earth that belongs to the Holy Spirit only no man um, takes the place of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, or the Holy Spirit. And um, that is very clear in the Bible. You're, the Bible says we are to call no man father. So anyway, um, there's, there's authority taken by that establishment that doesn't belong to them which is blasphemy in itself so enough said about that so um, I only show it because it ties into the times that we're in and the Antichrist about to be revealed and so as I started to look at stuff just one by one things started to uh, you know one thing tied to another and I kept uncovering more stuff and it was just crazy another thing that um, that's been in the forefront um, lately is the country of Sweden I guess the reason being is um, I had a dream and I think it was it was either last year or the year before and actually I believe it was a vision and um, in the vision I heard horse hooves which ties back into the triple crown thing I heard horse hooves as if they were trotting either on, on you know a paved road or a cobbled road I, I didn't see the horse I just heard the sound of the hooves very clearly and then somehow the scene changed and I was and I don't remember a lot of it right now but the, I was seeing a hockey team because um, I used to watch hockey and go to games I uh, haven't recently but anyway uh, the colors that the team the one team that I saw they were I saw like a few players in their uniforms and the colors were uh, a bright yellow and a bright blue. The only color, the only team that has those colors are the St. Louis Blues, and actually my family is from St. Louis. So um, I thought, okay, well, I didn't really know what it meant. I was like, it was, you know, two strange things. So I, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know what that means. So I just kind of put it on the back burner. After I. Uh, couldn't figure anything out with the hockey team I was looking up flags and I came across a flag of Sweden and um, and then one day like I said recently I saw, saw a uh, what looked like a work truck you know like a work van type truck and it was it had those colors on it and actually had the flag of Sweden on it. I was like, okay, I'm seeing maybe he's trying to tell me to check, look into that. So, um, I, I was like, okay, I don't know what that's about either. So I put that on the back burner. Then Minister Paul on YouTube started talking. He's had many prophetic, um, dreams, visions, words, and 
a lot of them have come true. Things that he um, prophesied about happening in certain places uh, would come to pass, and I, pretty much all of them have. So he, back in April of this year, had a prophetic warning for Sweden. And, um, and then after he put that video up, they started talking about Sweden and um, there being uh, a threat of war with Russia. And that's exactly what his prophetic warning was about. And um, so the reason I'm talking about Sweden is not just, not just because of my dream, but the Swedish flag has three crowns on it. It's the blue color and for the back ground and then the three crowns are the gold or the yellow color so there's a, a triple crown thing so all these things are tying together so I, I went to uh, wiki and and pulled up uh, the um, Sweden or the flag of Sweden I don't remember which but anyway you know you scroll on down the page and it's, it showed the coat of arms for the kingdom of Sweden and it is a kingdom because they do have a king and queen and um, their coat of arms is very interesting and I just found this last night uh, this is the coat of arms for the king of Sweden his name is Carl Gustav and that w the name I think the name Gustav is the name that Mr. Paul uh, either heard in prayer. I think he heard it in prayer. It's been a while since I watched the video. And that's what led him to look into this stuff about Sweden because the king's name. Uh, 